So you're thinking about making the move to Northwest Arkansas. Well, in today's video, we are going to give you 25 reasons as to why maybe you shouldn't, or maybe at least, uh, at least be aware of these different reasons before actually deciding to make that move here. So if that is you and you wanna know those 25 reasons, then stay tuned. Hey there, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything you would ever need to know about moving to and living in Northwest Arkansas and Southwest Missouri, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell. That way you're notified every time we put out new videos about what it's like to live here in the real estate market. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Chris and me and my team help people every single day make the move here to Northwest Arkansas and Southwest Missouri. And we absolutely love it. Um, this is living in the Ozarks where we go over everything you would ever need to know about that specific thing. So if you are thinking about making that move here, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. However you want to reach out to us, reach out. And me and my team would love to help you make that move here as easy as possible. Whether it be whether you're looking to make that move today or next year, it doesn't matter. We would love to help you out. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about 25 reasons to maybe avoid making the move here. Not so much avoid, but more along the lines of, you know, you need to be aware of these 25 things, um, and whether that and whether they may be a positive or, or, or an actual negative to you now we're not going to you know go in depth on every single topic like super in depth but we are going to hit on them give you our take on them and our opinion um, you know that we have 25 um, things here so we don't want to you know make this video too awfully long so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it waste no more time and go over the, the um, 25 things that you need to know about before moving here it's actually raining here where I'm at right now um, and we are kind of tucked behind this little bluff this rock here on this beautiful lake you know, one of the many things that you can find, one of the good reasons to move to the state of, of, um, of um, Arkansas, more specifically north, Northwest Arkansas. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into this, get on and start on our, on our 25 things that you need to know before moving here. Um, and the first thing that we're gonna hit on is the politics. So obviously Arkansas is a conservative state. It is a red state. It is mainly Republican. Um, doesn't mean that there's no liberals here. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that they're that, you know, who's right or who's wrong. That's not what this video is about. It's more about just kind of telling you these things so that you know about them. So yes, Arkansas is more of a conservative state. Doesn't mean that you're not going to fit in. So if you're looking to make the move here and you don't want to be in a conservative state, might not be the best place for you. Most people that we that we am talked to that that's actually a huge pro as to why they're actually moving here. So if that that is you then Arkansas could be a great place for you all right so second on our list we have schools so the schools here um, Arkansas as a state as a as a, you know for the entire state doesn't rank well when it comes to public schools the caveat to that is though is that Northwest Arkansas actually has some of the best schools well it does have the best schools in the entire state of Arkansas and it even has some of some of um, some of the best schools in the, in the entire nation that are nationally ranked so you have the Bentonville School District which is definitely a very good school district um, a lot of people you know that's a sought after school district that people want to actually be in um, you have some smaller towns so if you want your kids to go to you know a smaller town school we have that in like Elkins Farmington P Ridge P Ridge actually which is going to be to the northern part of the metro by Bentonville and Rogers. Um, P Ridge actually just built a brand new high school. Super, super cool. Really nice facilities. You also have Hass Hall Academy, which is going to be a charter public school. And they're actually ranked as some of the top schools in the entire nation. So those are going to be in Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, and Bentonville. Um, those are, I do believe that they are just the high school um, grades and up. I'm not sure exactly where it starts. I'll have to look into that. Um, but they are some, but they are nationally ranked. Um, I believe that they're like top 15 in the entire nation. So definitely really good charter public schools here. And we have some really good school districts as well. I know that Rogers Public School has um, some of the national or is nationally recognized for some of their elementary schools schools so a lot of good things here um, when it comes to schools um, so don't let that um, you know that kind of stigma of Arkansas not having schools statewide as any good schools we do have some really good schools here in Northwest Arkansas all right so up next we have number three which is going to be the weather so yes we get all four seasons here in Northwest Arkansas and in the Ozarks so you get beautiful um, winters springs summers falls if you want that kind of you know all-encompassing you know weather for all for all four seasons if you enjoy having snow during Christmas time if you enjoy bonfires in the fall time beautiful weather in the spring and summer we definitely have that here 
biggest thing about weather here that we hear about it the most is the humidity. Yes, it is a humid area. I don't, in my personal opinion, I've spent time in Texas and in Florida. I don't think it's anywhere near that bad. Um, but you know, we don't have a ocean here like um, Florida to where you kind of get that ocean breeze to cool it down. So the humidity is definitely something that you will have to get used to here. Um, but you know, overall, the weather is really, really is really, really nice on average. And you know, on the on the average um, temperatures, it hardly ever gets above that 95 to 96. And it's rarely below that 30 to, you know, that 28 to 30 degree mark. Now this year has been completely different. It's been super hot. You know, I believe that our hottest day was actually like 107. So I'm not saying that it can't get higher or lower. That's just the average. It, you know, it doesn't average those temperatures going above or below like we had talked about. So weather, definitely good if you like the, the um, four seasons not so good when you got to deal with the humidity i think it's a small price to um pay for the good weather that we have here the mild weather that we usually have here um so definitely a pro could be a con depending on how you look at it all right so our next topic is going to be the taxes here in northwest arkansas so i'm specifically talking more about the sales tax here property taxes we kind of align you know basically the national average um, we're definitely lower than like texas and stuff we're higher than, than some of the other places too but you know property taxes you know it's not going to be a, a huge deal breaker for most people here um income I um, income tax i believe that they just lowered it to 5.9 percent um, i'll have to check on that to be exactly sure i know that that just happened last year so 5.9 is what I believe that the income tax rate is at now and then but the biggest thing I want to talk about for this thing that you need to be aware of is going to be the sales tax so sales tax Northwest Arkansas it is very high now that can range a great deal depending on which city and which county that you actually decide to call home and purchase a, a um, home in and where you do most of your day-to-day -day shopping and stuff but it's honestly it's going to average anywhere between nine to nine and a half all the way up to that ten and a half percent sales tax so it can definitely be a big jump for for a lot of for a lot of people who are used to paying a lower sales tax so that's something to keep in mind um the metro is pretty compact so even if you're living say in washington county and you want to get over to um, benton county to maybe take advantage of a little bit lower sales uh, um sales tax it's not much you're talking like a percent but that's just something that i want to make you aware of is the sales tax is quite high here in northwest arkansas all right so the next topic that we're going to hit on has to be mountain biking so if you are a avid mountain biker you're going to fit in great here <laughs> um, people you know this is the mountain biking capital of the world you got walmart who's dumping a ton of money into hundreds of miles of bike trails, soft surface, hard surface, uh, mount, um, uh, mountain bi um, biking courses. You have a bunch of um, you know competitions, or I'm not exactly sure what you would call it. I'm not an avid mountain biker. I know it's kind of weird because I live here and everyone gives me grief about it. It's just not something that I personally enjoy, or, or I shouldn't say that I don't enjoy it. I've just never really done it. Um, maybe in the future I may you know dip my toes into it, um, but for the most part, it's not something that I have done yet. But if you are someone that enjoys uh, mountain biking, you're, you're definitely going to fit in good, good here. You know, the mountain biking capital of the um, world, you're going to see like going through um, Bella Vista. They have trails just going around the side of the um, road. I mean, it's legitimately hundreds of miles. Um, I believe it's like 200 and some miles of actual trails that are already completed here. And they're adding more and more every single year. So if you enjoy mountain biking, this is a great place for you. All right, so up next we have allergies. So if you've never dealt with allergies in the past, it can definitely be something that you have to get used to and kind of be a headache if you're not used to dealing with them. You know, it is the natural state. We have these beautiful trees, these, you know, you have different seasons here like we were talking about with the weather. Um, but you, but what comes along with that, obviously you have a lot of pollen in, in you know, in the air. You've got a lot of just different things that cause allergies here. So that's something that my wife had to deal with a little bit in the, in the beginning when um, living here. Um, but it's you know it's not it's not it's not a huge thing you know you can take your um, allergy medicine if it's something that you have a lot of problems with but it is something I want you to be aware of when making the move here and our next topic is going to be the bugs here in Northwest Arkansas now I know everywhere has bugs but it's something I just want to hit on really really quick the going around joke around here in Northwest Arkansas is that for the state of Arkansas the you know the state bird should actually be the mosquito Going back to what I was talking about, about living in, um, or not living in, but spending a lot of time in Florida, you know, 
I don't think that the mosquitoes here are near as bad as there. Could have just been where I, where you know where I was actually at. But the mosquitoes, we do have mosquitoes here. Um, that's one of the big, big bugs, you know, in, um, insect, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're just kind of encompassing all of the little critters in this category of bugs. You got mosquitoes. You got spiders. You got poison spiders such as black widows, brown recluses. Um, you have termites here, which we can talk about more whenever you um, call us. We take you know we do a really good job. Me and my team of making sure that the home that you that you own purchase you know you don't have to deal with that but you know that that is something that you have to keep in in mind um, we have ticks here so a lot of people that that's a big concern to them that they've never been somewhere where they had to worry about ticks you know I enjoy hunting I enjoy fishing I enjoy going out into the woods me and my family love love um, doing that so kind of just the ritual and the routine is whenever whenever you are I'm done go you know you go home you take a shower you check wherever you need to to um, check make sure that there are no that there are no ticks there and you really don't have to worry about it but it's something that I want you to be aware of is the different types of bugs and insects that we have here in Northwest Arkansas. All right, so next up is going to be our pro sports here in Northwest Arkansas, or better yet said, our lack of, of um, pro sports. We don't have any pro sport team in Northwest Arkansas. We have really good college teams. We have um, some minor league teams such as the Arkansas Naturals, um, you know, where you can go watch baseball. Um, we got really good basketball and football college teams. So you can go in and um, enjoy those, but there is no pro sport team here in Northwest Arkansas. So if that is something that's important to you, you are, you know, you're just a few hours from places such as like Kansas City, about five and a half hours from Dallas. If you want to go up there and, and catch a Chiefs game or a Dallas Cowboy game, or you could go to St. Louis, um, you know, check out the um, St. Louis Cardinals for the, your MLB, um, the St. Louis Blues up there in St. Louis. A lot of a lot of different options. Um, um, you're kind of centrally located between a lot of different uh, of, between a lot of different pro sports teams, but there is none right here in this direct vicinity. So if that is important to you, maybe um, something that that you want to think about before actually making that move here. All right, so next up is going to be the airport here in Northwest Arkansas. So that is XNA, and that is an international airport. Um, it is a smaller airport for sure. Um, they do have a lot of flights out, so if you're a frequent flyer. Most people um, find that it is sufficient for what they need. You know, if you're going to Dallas, Chicago, Florida, all these different places, obviously you can get there. Um, some of them do have connecting flights most of the time, depending on where you are, you are going from. If you're going to um, Dallas, you don't have to worry about it or anything like that. Um, but for some of those long, longer flights, you are going to have connecting flights like most airports. Um, it is a smaller air airport. Pros and cons to that are definitely that you can get into it quicker and get out. Um, there's not as big of lines just because it's not as busy. It's not that big. Um, but it does for me and my family and most people that I know here it is sufficient for, for um, traveling around wherever you need to actually go all right so we're gonna kind of piggyback off of the pro sports one that we talked about a couple um, back and that's gonna be the University of Arkansas so like I was saying a lot of good pro sports teams here the downfall to having the University of Arkansas, which is located in Fayetteville, is that if you're looking to move to Fayetteville, it is a college town. It is a college scene. Um, it's big enough, though. It's you know, it's just around 90,000 people that you have a lot of different options when it comes to living si um, situations there, to where you know you're not just all the time in that college area. Um, but it definitely is at the heart of Fayetteville. It is, it is, it is, it is a college city. You know, it's the University of of um, Arkansas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, a lot of good things go along with that. Obviously, you have um, the entertainment down there. You have the um, sports teams that you can go and catch games at. Um, just a lot of really good stuff that comes along with it, but something I want you to be aware of that it is a college town and something that you need to think about if you are considering moving there. All right, so just like we did on the last one, we're gonna piggyback off of the University of Arkansas and kind of talk about something that we've already talked about, that is the Razorbacks, which is the mascot for the University of Arkansas, the, the U of A Razorbacks. Um, so, if you're not a Razorback fan here, it can take some adjustment. You know, everyone here, for the most part, loves the Razorbacks. Um, you know, I haven't been a, a um, Razorback fan before coming here, or you know, I grew up in Missouri, um, just about an hour from here. But it is, I mean, people here are crazy about their Razorbacks. As they say, they call the hogs. So whenever you're in these, you know, the um, stadium games, you know, it's the woo pig suey and all that stuff. It takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but definitely a cool in environment. And if you're a fan of just sports in general, it's a really good atmosphere. Great fans here. Some of the best fans that I've ever seen for a college, for a, for, you know, for a college-based sports team. Um, but if you're, you know, 
if you're an LSU fan, if you're a Mizzou fan, it can kind of be a little rough. Obviously nothing serious, but it's just, you know, there's a lot of jawing whenever it comes to the um, Razorbacks fans here, and they definitely will stick up for their Razorbacks. So next up, I want to talk about something that we have to talk about when talking about Northwest Arkansas, and that is going to be Walmart. So I'll, I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you're not, here's a little um, history for you. Walmart was actually founded here in Bentonville, Arkansas. So this is where Walmart is headquarters or, or is actually headquartered. You know, this area honestly goes as Walmart goes. It's a Fortune 500 company. Um, you know, you also have Tyson's and JB Hunt, you know, some of the other Fortune 500 um, um, companies here. But the main one, the big one, the big dog is definitely Walmart. They're actually building a brand new headquarters in Bentonville right now. They've been working on it for a year, year and a half now. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be completed, but it's like a 350 acre headquarters um, for for um, Walmart right in the middle of Bentonville. So it's definitely a really cool thing. They're doing that to compete with the likes of Apple, Amazon, Google, all that stuff to make it more more a modern. Um, of a working environment, um, but it definitely is a really cool area that they are building there. Um, but, you know, Walmart, if you're someone that doesn't like big box stores, you know, I mean, honestly, like you're gonna see a Walmart neighborhood market on like every single corner around here, it seems like. Um, to me, it's really convenient because you can run over there and get whatever you need, a lot of super centers too, obviously. Um, you know, it's kind of weird, but I mean, they're really nice Walmarts. So if you're somewhere that's not used to Walmarts, it's definitely going to be your main shopping area here, unless you're going to go more of like the farmer markets, which we have a lot of those too, um, or some of the other like Whole Foods areas and the um, natural food, food places. But Walmart is definitely a big part of Northwest Arkansas. It's what's made this area grow the way that it has. So it's, in my opinion, it's definitely a huge pro but it is definitely something that you're going to have to get used to when moving here. All right, so up next we have the outdoors. This is the natural state. This is this is this is Arkansas. Um, you have the Ozark National Forest. You have the mountains here. You know they're not huge mountains like in Colorado or you know Colorado or places, but they but but they are. They they are the Ozark Mountains. Um, you know a lot of national forests. So if you enjoy fishing, hiking, hunting, boating, tubing, um, deer hunting, turkey hunting anything bear hunting anything that you can think of outdoor wise it's a really good area for it as you can see we're starting to do a lot of these videos in you know in these outdoor scenes because i think it's a huge reason that a lot of people actually make that move here so i wanted to showcase that to you guys more so we're at lake ann here i mean you know it's kind of you know gloomy and dim here because of the rain um but i mean as you as you can see just a beautiful area got lake homes right over here there's a big beautiful park down here and more homes um these are, th th this is actually one of the seven lakes in Bella Vista. So these are um, owned by the um, POA. So the people who um, live here are all, or, or the people who live in Bella Vista are all part of a POA, which is the Property Owners Association, which is kind of like a, a um, HOA, um, except for the POA encompasses the entire city. So with that, you get access to these beautiful lakes. Um, you get access to the golf courses and stuff. You do have, you do have to still pay for that. Um, but it's just a lot of things. These walking trails, these bike trails, the outdoors here is obviously one of the biggest draws to this to this area. The beauty here is absolutely amazing, especially like we were saying, when you get those four seasons. So you get the beautiful leaves changing colors and just everything else that comes along with the outdoors here. So whenever it comes to the outdoors, whatever you enjoy, you're definitely gonna be able to find it here in Northwest Arkansas. All right, so just like before, we're gonna kind of piggyback off of that one, the outdoors, and talk about the entertainment here. So obviously, the entertainment with the outdoors kind of covered that, um, but you also have a lot more, you know, kind of inside the um, city and inside of the inner metro uh, for like entertainment. You have the Walmart Amphitheater, which gets huge artists. You got like people like Brantley Gilbert, you had Kevin Hart there, some musicians, comedians, all kinds of stuff going on there. That's next to the um, Top Golf, which is next to the Promenade, which is a really nice um, shopping center and stuff they're actually putting in a I believe it's called the blue aquarium or the blue something aquarium by the end of the year which is 2022 we're in 2022 now depending on when you're watching this video so it may already be in there um, but they are putting in an, an aquarium it's supposed to be a pretty good size one too so that's gonna be really really cool um, you have like I said you have top golf you have these downtown scenes downtown Bentonville is absolutely amazing they do stuff like their block parties during the um, warmer months there's always like like art walks going on 
Um, you got farmers markets. You've got these block parties where they do the whole square turns into basically a big concert, and they got axe throwing. They've got you know just stuff for the for the um, kids, food trucks, all kinds of stuff. You've got the same thing basically going on down in Fayetteville with their downtown area. Um, you know it's you know it's more of a it's you're definitely going to get more into that college area there um, but if you enjoy that or just like to have that option to go out at night that's a really good area that downtown scene you got you got dixon street there a lot of one-off shop bars and restaurants there definitely a really cool area like boutiques um, any kind of entertainment it really is it's kind of a hidden gem here but we have a lot of stuff in the way of entertainment here so you're definitely not going to get bored of the of the um, area and there always is something to to um do here all right so just like we were talking about the entertainment now we're gonna now we're gonna hit on the tourist here so it is becoming a touristy area some people hate that some people love it because of the obvious the um, obvious pros with the economy increase and different things um, but it is it's becoming a, it's becoming a tourist area people really enjoy you you know um, coming here whether it be to you know for some people seeing the you know the um, original Walmart for other people taking advantage of these of the natural of the natural beauty here when it comes to the lakes and the outdoors and the hunting and fishing um, whether it be whether it be because of you know um, the um, the city of Fayetteville and you know the the um, Razorback one of the biggest things one of the biggest draws definitely has to be the mountain bike we're the mountain biking capital of the world as as we're so called so it's definitely a big tourist area now you know it's not like like some of the major ones where you know it's can't like, like um get around but it is it's becoming more and more of a tourist area so next up we're going to be talking about the number of people here and the number of people that are actually moving here so right now we're just over half a million people for the northwest arkansas metro um that's going to in, to increase for sure. You know, like we were talking about, we have these Fortune 500 companies here, such as Walmart, who's building these huge headquarters. So that just means more and more jobs, more and more people, a better economy, and everything else. So, definitely, you know, Arkansas was actually one of the most moved into states by um, ratios. I'm probably botching that on how I'm actually saying it, but it's like to the ratio of people that moved in compared to who moved, um, who actually moved uh, moved out. It was it was actually the highest ranking state. So a lot of people are moving here, and a lot of people are deciding to call the Northwest area home. Um, it's definitely the most you know booming area in all of of um, Arkansas. So with that, there is obviously a ton of people that are moving here. All right. So next up, we're going to hit on it's kind of something that we just talked about too but kind of goes hand in hand um, and that's going to be that it is every year for the past several years been ranked as one of the top metros we're actually ranked as i believe according to u.s news and world rankings or something like um like that we were ranked as the number four metro to live best places to live in the united states we actually just beat out um, austin texas on that list at number five and we were number four um, so obviously it's a really good place to live you know we're getting recognized for that now um, and with that like we were talking about comes all of all of all of those other things such as the increase in population better economy and more and more inter like um, entertainment things and stuff like that so something to keep in mind if you move here it is ranked as the number four place to live um, best places to live in the United States as a metro on a lot of, of um, different lists and those lists are definitely just you know people's opinion but we're usually ranked top 10 on most lists but the next topic that we want to talk about is the real estate market the real estate market definitely is a competitive market here in Northwest Arkansas it's the most competitive in the entire area honestly by far um, you know it is growing so with that prices keep going up we're not softening as much as some of the other bigger areas for sure um, you know in the United States it is happening though um, that's something that we can definitely have that conversation about more in depth whenever you give us a call and reach out to us about moving here we can, we can kind of tell you more of what we're seeing in the local market but the real estate market it's not one of those areas for the most part where you know I hear places like Colorado where you're having to go in like fifty seventy five thousand dollars over asking it's not like that here in any way I'm not saying in the more competitive price points that you're not have to go a little bit over um, but it's not to that de degree that we're hearing about in these in, you know in these other areas for the most part if the house is is um, is a priced right then it's going to sell around that price um, now there is certain price uh, um, price points you know that 250 to 350 is very competitive so you might have to go a little higher on those homes for the most part still a really good market here in northwest arkansas really good opportunity with that with that growing population that is being projected to have a really good investment here in northwest arkansas all right so next up we're going to be talking about new construction here in northwest arkansas like we were saying population is going to double that's what it's projected to in the next 25 years so it's definitely 
you know, the only way to, uh, to accommodate that is new construction. So there's a ton of new construction going on here in Northwest Arkansas. If you're, so if you're looking for a new build, a new construction home, we definitely have a ton of those here. Builders are building as fast as they can still to this day. And I honestly don't see that slowing down anytime soon just because the demand's here, so they're gonna keep popping up that supply. Um, but if you're looking for a new construction home, definitely have that here. Um, it can be a little hectic when it comes to, you know, just construction in general in the in the um, area. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind as well. But, you know, if you're looking to move today or, you know, in the next year, definitely a lot of good new construction op options for you here. All right, so up next, we're gonna be talking about the traffic here. So just like I was talking about um, the new, con the new con construction, we also, we also have a ton of road construction going on here because of our infrastructure. So with that being said, you know, that, that actually creates a lot of traffic, obviously. Um, so, you know, it's not as bad as traffic in the bigger cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, all that stuff. Obviously not, it's Northwest West Arkansas. It's nothing even comparable to that. But we do have a lot of traffic here. There is times where you can get stuck in a traffic jam, you know, for, for 30 minutes to, to a m hour. So keep that in mind. Don't don't think that you're that you're gonna move, move here and not have to pay attention to the um, traffic. We do have some. Um, hopefully once our infrastructure and our roads, you know, get widened out and are bigger to accommodate this growing population that will that will actually change but as of right now you do have to deal with some traffic here in northwest arkansas all right so next up on my on my list basically what i was just talking about there i kind of had it written down in my notes and kind of got ahead of myself on it but is the road infrastructure here you know probably should have put that one before the actual the actual traffic but they are they're doing a ton of stuff you know like two three year projects for you know road construction here so the the road infrastructure here as i like to, to actually call it um you know we weren't built to be this big obviously whenever these places were you know created and they were building these different roads out but because of the population growth you know it's becoming a big issue and that's something they are working on at this time hopefully that will be sorted out here in the coming years but as of right now it is something you know to kind of watch out for so these kind of go hand in hand the road infrastructure and the in traffic all right and the next up i'm going to talk look at look at look at this <laughs> the weather just came down you know we're at number 18 or 19 or something like that so we're just going to go ahead and continue until we are done this will definitely be an interesting video to say the least um we're underneath this this little cliff here <laughs> but we're just gonna go ahead and finish this and just show you you know what what the weather's like here something else like i was saying to to know about the area the weather can definitely change um you know right now it's starting to um rain and it was fine a minute ago i mean it was it was raining it, it was sprinkling but now we're definitely in a, in a full-on downpour hopefully you guys can still hear me we're going to continue on with this video so up next we actually have the um, public transportation um, we don't have much public transportation here to to and be honest obviously you have ubers lifts taxis all of those things but for the most part whenever it comes to public transportation um, you know it's not you know there's no big tram systems there's no big subways obviously so if you're looking for a place where you where you solely rely on that public transportation to get you around this is not really the best area for it all right so up next our last three here i want to hit on really really quick is going to be is going to be northwest arkansas is not like the rest of arkansas it's kind of the hidden gem you know that not enough people knew about for a long time but it's definitely not your prototypical arkansas area you know there's big business here the economy is good here we got good schools and everything everything else so keep that in mind don't go you know don't think it's just like the rest of arkansas i know it's kind of a weird statement but it really is it's like it's it's a booming metro which is hard to find here in this state all right and then to go off of that one we're going to talk about the arkansas stereotype definitely not going to hit on this man this weather is kicking in I don't think I've ever filmed a video in the actual rain, so this will be, you know, a very interesting video to say the least. Um, we've got two left, so bear with me here. So the next one is going to be the Arkansas stereotype. But it definitely is something to keep in mind when uh, moving here is that there is kind of a stereotype that goes along with living in in um, Arkansas. You know, whether it be whatever it may it you know it may actually be, um, just something to keep in mind. But whenever it comes to Northwest Arkansas, like I was saying about the last topic, it's a booming community, it's a booming economy, it's a growing metro, and it's ranked as the number four best place to um, live and consistently ranked as top ten year after year. So it definitely is a a um, great area 
no matter what anyone else has to say about it. And then last but not least has to be that it's a beautiful area. I know it's kind of gloomy and cloudy right now but for the most part, you know, with all of the natural scene, it's the natural state. We have these lakes, we have the Ozark Mountains, we have the Ozark National Forest. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. It really is a very clean area, an upkept area, and, so, and, it's, and it's, I mean, I think it's absolutely gorgeous here and most people that move here think the same exact thing. So whether you're looking to live more in kind of the mountain area, which, which, which like I said, I want to be very, very clear, they're not these huge, huge mountains, but you know, they are mountains. Um, so if you want that kind of terrain, um, we have that, you lake living, um, suburb living, inner city living, great downtown areas, safe areas, just a lot of really good stuff here in Northwest Ar Arkansas. And obviously just the beauty speaks for itself. So with that all being said, hopefully you guys stuck around for this video till the end. I know it was a little bit longer and it was definitely an interesting one with the weather here. Um, but if you guys have any questions whatsoever, be sure to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an a, um, email. Reach out to us however you want, whether you're looking to move today or next year. Me and my team help people every single day. We absolutely love it. We'd love to help you make that move here as easy as possible. And if you haven't already, of course, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell. That way you're notified every time we put out new videos just like this one here. Hopefully we stay a little drier in the um, next ones, but you know, stay up to date on everything going on here in the real estate market and this area. But until the next time hope you guys have an amazing day i'm getting out of here i'm going to the truck and i'm going to get dry but until the next time hope you guys have an amazing day we'll see you on the next one Whew. all right we made it <laughs> i think this video definitely deserves a like hopefully you guys do do them too um just wanted to update you the weather here is crazy but we absolutely love this area i think that you will too so definitely be sure to reach out to us with any questions and let us know how we can help you make that move here thanks guys